You're the next door guy, right? Which makes you the girl next door. I need a partner for my dance class. If I make you a drink, you come into my room and hustle with me. If you fix me a drink, I'll come in and clean your bathroom. Wow, how did it feel for me to bring the film to the London Film Festival? It's the most extraordinary, wonderful uh, thing ever. I you know, never imagined that something like this would happen. I think the film is great. I really like the film. And you know, I, I, you know, I've read or heard that you know, uh, not a lot of writers of books have been kind of uh, thought that films have kind of lived up to you know, what they imagined, thought that their book should be. But I'm delighted because I think it's such a kind of faithful adaptation and the story's told beautifully. And, um, you know, to be here at the London Film Festival is, is amazing for everybody here at the festival. It's such a wonderful event. How did I do? I didn't choose. It's it's a, a producer and, and director who chose, and, and I was kind of so happy. I knew that Annette Benning was interested, and I, Barbara had introduced me to Annette Benning a long time ago, 20 years ago. Annette had read the book, and she liked it, and she was intrigued and interested by the project. Um, and she was kind of much too young at that time to play the role. Um, and it came to pass kind of you know, these you know, 20 years later that she now is playing it. So I could never think of any, after when I first met Annette, I could never think of anybody except Annette Benning playing the role. So that, it was, you know, amazing. I didn't know who was going to be playing Peter and in a kind of way I didn't kind of really want to know because I didn't want to kind of think oh yeah such a person's going to be playing me I wonder how that would be and I didn't want to kind of go through all that kind of process and I just wanted to kind of wait and to see who was cast and I knew that they'd go after the best and uh, Barbara would and, and Paul would and for me they've got the best in Jamie Bell, mm. who is an incredible actor, and he's, you know, he just invests the role and imbues the role with you know, all these kind of wonderful qualities. And, you know, for him to play me in a film, it's like one of the best things that ever happened to me. His performance is, is, is brilliant, I think. Both of the, the relationship on screen is, it sizzles, it's a wonderful, on-screen uh, romance, and uh, and I hope people you know enjoy it and get a lot out of it. it. It's quite a unique relationship: the older woman, the younger guy, and you know they they bring so much to it. I can't imagine any other two people playing the roles except Annette Bening and Jamie Bell. I was full of admiration. Um, it was not looking in a mirror because Jamie, you know, I remember kind of talking to him before and we just kind of you know, hit it off really and it was kind of you know, things that we didn't need to talk about and I just oh, knew, I felt in my heart that he was going to be just brilliant. So, you know, uh, he was going to be working with the director and Annette and I didn't want to interfere with that. I felt very confident and very comfortable that that all the care, all the right kind of qualities were going to be there. And I knew that Jamie was going to be great. And, and he said, is there anything, you know, you want to say to me? And I said, no, I will just be with you every day. You'll be in my heart. And uh, he was. was getting kind of richer and more layered all the time. And, you know, to hear that Julie Walters was going to be playing my mother, Kenneth Cranham was going to be playing my father. And, you know, all the actors, Francis Barbary and Beth Stephen Graham. And then you get Vanessa Redgrave. So, you know, how, how, how good is that? Yes, she certainly is, yeah. and she's the most wonderful actress. And and you know, it's that small role of Gloria's mother, uh, but wow, it, she's incredible in it, and uh, I love her performance. 
Was there anything I would have done differently? No. Because, you know, it, it's Paul's film and, you know, it, it's, it's such a kind of honour to kind of, uh, you know, to have written something that somebody else wanted to make a film of and, uh, and he just brought so much to it and I think he's made a most beautiful film. Oh. You know you got it if Has anyone ever told you you look like Lauren Bacall when you smoke? Yeah, Humphrey Bogart. Oh. I don't like it then either. Thank you for watching the fan carpet. If you like this video, be sure to click that thumbs up button at the bottom of your screen. And also be sure to subscribe to the fan carpet YouTube channels. They're absolutely free. That's so much fun too. Be sure to check out the official website, thefancarpet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay up to date with reviews, competitions, the latest news, and so much more.